Oh, Kenny, uh, what former t- uh, great Tipperary hurler uh, and uh, now uh, selected with uh, Watford. Uh, are you looking forward to this league? The Munster sort of League starts enough. Do you yeah. see the benefits of it as well? Oh, you definitely see the benefits. I think it gives players a chance, you know, younger players a chance to run on the panel, a chance to perform and a chance to maybe see can they get a jersey and hang on to a jersey for the, the league when it starts then late January. Um, you know, players want games. They love games and they're all in pre-season training now and doing the hard slog and doing all the gym work and all that so you know you train to play and uh, once the league it's a great opportunity you now for some of these guys to, to get out and, and to get playing and put on the water jersey for the first time maybe someone who wants to play for water at a senior level so it's a new experience for some of those uh, young fellas that are involved in the water panel and there'll be competitive games as well because if you can win your two games you get into a final and you get a third game that sets up nights again for the league like yeah. it's, a, it's a very strong competition always the Munster League yeah I suppose it, it could test character too this time of the year uh, you know the weather is not so good and yeah, people have to have themselves right like, yeah very like, true yeah you'll see what a, a guy is made of um, and the, yeah. they won't be too fancy and I suppose you have to get stuck in and that's where you often see a fella's character coming through and you know that's what you're, you're the small things that you'd be, be looking for like, you know and if someone can perform this time of the year um, you, you have a fair chance that they'll, they'll perform later on in the year for as well and this is where players this is their platform now we'll say to, to kick start their inter-county careers and that's, that's where the Munster League is it's a great chance for that yeah if I was you watch for Hurlow and I walked into the dressing room and there's Owen Kelly a legend in the game and you have Davy Fitz and the rest of the lads there it's a big it's a big thing for them like to walk into the dressing room like that and to pick up a watch for Jersey you really have to have character with strength and yeah you do you, know. you do and I suppose Davey's the manager now at Watford and look I suppose he's a former All Ireland win manager and so he's bringing that experience to Watford now as well you know he brought it to Wexford and they won the Leinster final in 2019 for the first time in a long time so you know that's uh, and the game has moved on the game has evolved and I think Dave yeah. it's probably a manager that moves with the times and evolves as a manager so you know it's exciting it's exciting times for for Walter going forward now with Davey at the helm. You were with Liam Sheedy in his backroom team, very successful, very successful temporary manager and backroom team. So, you know, is there a bit of a contrast in their styles with the, the yeah, two that's, different type of people, really? That's probably something I'll see maybe as the year goes on, you know. Um, at the moment, it's pre season training and yeah. the certain condition coach gets his hands on the lads and, and they just go through the, the work. So, you know. Um, but it's an interesting question, you know, both Liam Sheedy and Dave if it's our Ireland winning manager. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see how both uh, go. I know how Liam obviously goes about it, so it'd be interesting to see how, how Davey goes about it. And it's all learning, it's all yeah. new experiences. But I think for the water players, it's, uh, you know, it's a, a big bonus to have someone of that experience. Uh, it's been through the trench, trench, as we call it, and knows what it's like to win silverware um, yeah. as, as the manager. It's hard a little bit like politics. It's hard to get away from it. It's in your blood. You have to, yeah. you know, you want I'd, to be involved. I'd say that, yeah, yeah. And especially the way the game is now, like, to be involved, you have to stay involved, you know, because it move, it's moving so fast and change. And, you know, the bug would be there, I suppose, to, to be involved in it. That's the thing. But, um, look, there's, there's, there's some great days you have, and then there's the disappointing days. But you just have to dust yourself down and go again. And, you know, yeah. the... It, it, when you have those disappointing days, it makes the days that you are successful all that bit sweeter. Yeah. Most the championship has changed though since your day, which was the big day in Tuttle, it's the big day in Parky Cleve, maybe a big day in Limerick or Innes or whatever. But now it's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's all these games coming fast and things. So it's a completely different ball game as well. Completely different, yeah. You know, it's tough on players, you know, and uh, that's something that you have to try and get right the round robin would say. Just recovery is a big team and, and preparation for the, the next game. So, Look, that's all learned, and that's yeah. what you're, you're looking forward to seeing how, how it's managed in that. And you know, that's, that's the team, the round robin. I'm sure every team that's their first goal. So, you can they come out as round robin five teams in Munster, only three teams come out like it's, it's very unforgiving if you lose or, or mess up on, on a day, and it can happen. Yeah, um, you've got um, you've got Tip and Claire obviously in this championship. No, Tip are looking to atone for maybe a quiet year last year. Yeah. Same with Watford, they, they didn't really perform with what we thought they were going to bring after the league final. So, two teams probably hurting a little bit and wanting yeah. to prove something. Yeah. That's going to make everything, yeah. not just this league, the, the, one, the, 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 the Munster League is one thing, but in the Championship, going into the Championship. The two teams in Munster, 
that were really, you know, top of the game were Clare and Limerick there most recently. Do you know what I mean? Both those kind of performed very well. Obviously, Limerick win the all but Clare the superior. I suppose the other three most teams be very disappointed with the way the, the season went. So that's water tip and... Uh, and Cork so that's the thing to bounce back and you know oftentimes you see teams after a poor year they bounce back yeah. the next year so that'll be that'll be interesting to see they do indeed it's seriously competitive I mean you can't as a supporter myself going down to tourists wherever I'd be going you just can't tell what you're going to be yeah like. yeah no it is true no look it's what Limerick have been the, the consistent team for the last couple of seasons and they're reaping the rewards of that consistency so that's the level that teams want to get up to I mean they probably are that small bit ahead um, but that's why everyone sets out this time they're trying to plot their their downfall and get their own team up compete with the likes of the Limericks of this world and that's the challenge for everyone ahead How will you manage coming up against your good over Tipperary when it does happen it's, it's Yeah no, it's really interesting really. I suppose I won't be able to answer that question until I've experienced the, yeah. the day you know but I think the way it is management teams and coaches are so isolated now on match days that you kind of you're on one side, the uh, other opposition management team is at the other side, so there's no interaction there, and you just have a job to do, and you're focused on the, on the match and on the, the game itself, so I'd say it, it should be easy enough, just yeah. keep your own focus. I thought you were probably the best free taker I ever saw, especially from 21 and the old penalties. Yeah. Is that something you'll bring now to be able to coach the guys? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. you know. Um, Autumn will have a couple of fine free takers there, we'll say, and Stephen Bennett, Paul Manley was hitting them there the last couple of seasons and that, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, look, I think everyone is likes taking on a, a small bit of advice, like, and, you know, that's what you get from ex-players then, you know, that bit of advice or that experience you had in a pressurised situation and that, uh, you know, I suppose everyone likes to learn and even you see it yourself, even when you're coaching, you, you're learning every day as well. Yeah. You know, so that's the... That's the, I suppose the bug that's there, that's, that, that learning bug as well. How do you get to back to the she to, to shake without seeing the ball? We don't see the ball when you're taking those please. <laughs> is that something it's just in your wrist, I guess? I yeah, it is. It's, yeah. It's, it's just practicing. Just such a young kid, like just, you know what I mean? Just keep an eye on that ball and get the clean strike on it and, and, and let the ball do the work then, I suppose. Isn't that that's it? It. Yeah. That's it, yeah. It was great. It was great to watch. We look forward to. We're we really looking forward to this year on. We ah, look we forward are. to this league now as well. So. Yeah, yeah. I we, think it'd be great. And look, the All Ireland as well seems so far away there now. Back in July, is that I think people are craving hurling matches now and competitive games. No better than the Munster League. Yeah. To kick it off. Well, thanks very much for no stopping up to me. Thanks, William. Take care,